What's the most random part of a vehicle that can potentially explode? The rear view mirror? The center console? Nope, as it turns out, it's actually one of the vehicle's most essential safety features. Let's take a look at how Hyundai has recently been forced to issue a recall for exploding seatbelts. When it comes to vehicle recalls, some are more dramatic than others. Most manufacturer recalls are due to small issues, like a loose bolt that makes an annoying rattling noise, or an excessively shiny dashboard. But others are caused by much bigger problems. It's hard to forget that time when Jeep Cherokees were randomly catching on fire. 2.7 million older Jeeps with fuel tanks that reportedly can lead to gasoline fires in a rear-end collision. That being said, the most important recalls are the ones related to problems that pose safety risks to drivers and their passengers, which is why it's important to pay attention to the latest recall from Hyundai. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, has published an advisory from Hyundai Motor America that reveals thousands of 2021 to 2023 Hyundai Elantra, 2021 to 2022 Elantra Hybrid Electric, and 2019 to 2022 Accent cars have been recalled in the US over the risk of exploding seatbelts. That's not an exaggeration, mind you. The seatbelt assemblies can literally explode, turning nearby metal into small pieces of shrapnel that may cause injuries during a wreck. A total of 239,000 vehicles are covered by the recall. The idea of an exploding seatbelt may sound absurd, but it's a very real possibility due to the type of safety hardware found in many modern vehicles. In the case of this recall, the affected Hyundai cars are equipped with a seatbelt element called a pyrotechnic pretensioner. This safety device isn't visible to drivers or passengers because it is typically housed near the belt retractor or belt lock elements located on either side of a car seat. Most vehicles have at least one pretensioner for each seat. The pyrotechnic pretensioner is designed to help protect drivers and passengers by rapidly tightening a seatbelt immediately following the initial impact during an accident. The safety device achieves this by triggering a charge element that expels a type of gas nearly instantly. The gas triggers a small turbine, completing a process that forces the seatbelt to tighten against the person in the seat. This helps ensure the person remains snug in their seat during the crash, potentially saving their life. However, in the case of this Hyundai recall, the pyrotechnic pretensioner may malfunction and launch small pieces of metal inside the car. The automaker explains in its recall notice that it doesn't yet know why the affected pretensioners are causing this problem, but an investigation into the problem is underway, and vehicle owners will get more information about the root cause once it is identified. Fortunately, this problem is limited to faulty pretensioners that deploy during a crash, meaning drivers don't need to worry about random seatbelt explosions while cruising down their local highways or when friends play pranks. According to the recall notice the automaker submitted to the NHTSA on May 19th, Hyundai will notify impacted vehicle owners by mail about the problem and advise them of the next steps that will be necessary to fix it. As with other vehicle recalls, affected Elantra and Accent owners will be told to take their vehicles to a Hyundai dealership to get the pretensioner serviced for free. In most cases, the driver will need to contact the dealer from which they purchased the car to schedule a servicing appointment. This will only be possible once the recall notices have been sent out. The fix will involve securing a cap over certain components in the pretensioner. The automaker says in the recall notice that doing this will, quote, prevent potential abnormal deployment in the event of a wreck. If you own one of these recalled vehicles and have already paid a mechanic to fix issues related to the malfunctioning pretensioners, Hyundai says it'll reimburse you the costs. Going forward, Hyundai says it'll prevent this issue from occurring in future vehicles by adding a vent valve to the pipe connected to the gas generator element in the pretensioner. This design change was implemented in Hyundai cars starting on May 16, 2022, according to the recall notice. The automaker plans to send the recall notifications to vehicle owners on July 15, 2022 the same day it'll officially send notifications to dealerships as well. Once you've received the letter, follow the directions contained within it to get your vehicle serviced. Though the issue sounds frightening, it's certainly not the worst recall in automotive history, and modern vehicles continue to implement key safety features that help keep everyone, including nearby pedestrians, safe from accidental collisions and weather-related driving mistakes. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Slash Gear videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.